of sorts raging on social media. To discuss this topic, I'm joined in studio now by Professor Moran Yarchi, head of public diplomacy program and head of the digital influence and perception specialization for the School of Communication at Reichman University. Thanks so much for being here. I, it, when we talk about just this social media narrative that we're seeing really across the world, I, I'm curious, the social media war, how we can combat this false narrative that is being portrayed online. Yeah, it's a, it's a challenging and a complex reality. Uh, you're definitely right, uh, alongside the military confrontation, we have an image war going on between the different sides, and each side try to share their narrative or share their story. Now, when we're looking at the numbers, uh, the pro-Palestinian activist has a huge advantage. But, uh, but this round of the conflict is somewhat different than previous rounds that we have been seeing, uh, because in this round, uh, at least in the initial stages, Israel was the natural victim. Uh, so when we're talking about Western media, when we're talking about Western publics, narrative of compassion is very strong. So as long as we were portrayed as the natural victim, uh, Israel had an easier um, uh, case to make uh, in terms of uh, presenting ourselves as the justified side. Now, when we see more and more casualties on the Gazan side, uh, this challenge is, uh, is growing. Uh, and we know that what is newer, that's news. Uh, so today it's a really uh, complex reality. And yet I think there are a lot of things that can be done, both on the governmental uh, aspect of public diplomacy and also on civic diplomacy. And we have a lot of initiatives. Uh, what are your students doing? Yeah, uh, at Reichman University, we have an initiative called ACTAEL. It's actually, it's not a new one. It's been operating uh, uh, since the 2014 uh, war in Gaza. Um, and uh, we have students that are working online to make the case for Israel. So we have a group of volunteers that are working on campus and online uh, to share content, creating content, uh, reporting on, uh, on anti-Semitic and inciting content. But other than the students, we have an online community of over 30,000 people that are working as activists on our missions. Uh, for instance, uh, together they had sent many, many emails, hundreds of emails to the president of Cornell University uh, following uh, a really uh, horrible post by one of their professor praising Hamas actions, and he's actually on a leave of absence as we speak. Uh, so uh, this initiative uh, is operating at Reichman University to, due to the special characteristics of Reichman, the fact that we have a very large international school with students from 90 countries speaking 30 languages. And it's more just than the languages, uh, it's the cultural context. So we have a European desk that knows how to communicate specifically with people uh, in the UK, people uh, in Spain, people in Germany, Austria, and so on, uh, in different languages, uh, and, and they know how to target their audiences, what would speak to their specific audience, and how to mobilize support. I, I, I'm sure the support, I hope, has been flowing in, but I also can imagine some backlash as well. What are these students facing after really speaking up and showing the Israeli narrative? Yeah, it's, it's not always easy. We do provide them with the support uh, that they need. Uh, but it's the same challenge that all of us uh, face online. The heads of ACTAEL are actually uh, suffering more. Just today, we have a TikTok campaign against one of our uh, community leaders. Um, and ACTAEL specifically, and I take it as a sign that we're actually effective, because if pro-Palestinian activists are targeting us, it means that we're making an impact online. And if they continue to share your videos, then that means that more people are watching exactly. them as well. Exactly. Uh, well, it sounds like all of the work that you and your students are doing is certainly gaining a lot of attention and helping fight this, this social media narrative that really is brewing around the world. Uh, Moran Yarchi, thank you for everything that you and your students continue to do. Of course, and hoping for a, rem a quiet day today. If, exactly. It's hopefully that more and more people continue to look at their work. All of this in the 33rd day of the war here, it's more important than ever to continue to show the Israeli narrative that is on the ground, not only as our soldiers are fighting on the front lines, but International media is picking up exactly what's happening in Israel right now and the repercussions that it truly is having all around the Middle East and the entire region.